So today I thought I'd just tell you a little bit about, I guess, what was my go-to pantry items for inspiration and, and for sauces and bits and pieces when I'm cooking fresh catch, fresh fish. There's nothing really complicated here, but it's just things to have on board that you can grab and go and make something very, very quickly. First of all, I have some really good salt, really good flaky sea salt. I use Marlborough sea salt. Peppercorns, pretty easy, that's the magic in food. If things are seasoned correctly, they taste great. Let's talk about, uh, I guess, pickles and preserves. Gonna see a lot of preserved lemon these days in a lot of dishes, I always have preserved lemon. I always have these guys, these are pepper juice. They add sort of a sweetness plus some heat to dishes. Capers, absolute no-brainer with fish, you're always gonna use them. I like to have gherkins, and they add a lot of flavor to things like tartare sauce. Which brings me to, Mayonnaise, make your own if you can. Always gonna be better than store-bought, but best foods, one of the classics, it's kind of iconic. I still love this stuff as well, so if you haven't got fresh, go for best. Always I have some mustard, so a good Dijon. Breadcrumbs, I have um, just traditional fine breadcrumbs, which I use for sort of binding dishes, and then I have these sort of trendy things called panko. It's a bit coarser, so it adds a lot of texture to dishes, so on the top of fish pie, maybe some crab cakes, something like that you'd finish them with panko and that'll give you that lovely crunch when you're eating it. I always have some tempura flour on board. Very, very simple to make a very, very light, quick batter. Let's head to Asia. Okay, of course we're gonna have some soy sauce. We're gonna have some wasabi and we're gonna have pickled ginger right here. That's your sashimi taken care of. I like to have a little bit of sesame oil hanging around. I always have some fish sauce as well for those sort of Thai dishes or Vietnamese dishes. Goes really, really well. And then I've got some tamarind. And tamarind paste is just another ingredient I really love. Basically a, a sour ingredient which just adds this beautiful layer of depth to any dish. Let's talk oils. When I cook fish, I usually use, or nearly always use, a neutral oil. Canola is my go-to. Simple, flavourless oil for cooking fish because fish is delicate. So I don't use a big olive oil or anything like that because I find that overpowers the fish. Of course you're going to have some great uh, olive oil, some extra virgin on board. And then, of course, I love um, infused oils. I make my own. This lemon and fennel one, a little bit of plug for me, um, but it's bloody good with fish. You'd love that. Just a drizzle over the end, really, really simple. Vinegars, look, there's so many great vinegars out there, and you need vinegars for making mayonnaise, etc. So you use your cider vinegars. I still use my lovely old malt vinegar that I grew up with, but when I want something special, I use this Forbum Chardonnay vinegar. It's aged, it's mellow, it's beautiful. Fresh clams, fresh oysters, love this vinegar. Of course I've got coconut cream, I always have coconut cream. Uh, I've got some kingfish, I've got some kawai, I've got some trevally, coconut milk, some lime juice, some chilli, some coriander, and you've got an absolutely wonderful kokoda or you know similar dish to that. Of course, tons of spices, we have all of those. I like to have saffron, that goes wonderfully well when I'm making my seafood stews, fresh herbs, and that's really it. So there's a couple of ingredients in here that you might find at a specialty store, but most of the rest you'll find just at a good supermarket. And if you've got all these at your fingertips, you've basically got a whole lot of different ideas to put with your beautiful fresh catch, fresh fish.